It's fine. It's just me. Go back to sleep now. Hey, I said it's fine. Stop squirming. What are you doing? Hey, hey, stay here. If you shuffle off the duvet, you'll let all the worms leak out. Stop it. What? Well, I had a really rough day and I'm grumpy and cold, so I need someone to snuggle right now. What do you mean? It's only the two of us in this apartment, remember? So, who else exactly am I supposed to snuggle with? No, keep still. I want to go to sleep already. <sighs> For real now? All I want is some sympathy after the universe decided to give me a shit day. So, can you please stop being so difficult right now? What even is your problem? I'm not doing anything weird. I'm just wrapping my arms around you. Well, and nuzzling you a little. But why are you so against it? I had a shower, if that's what you worried about. Yeah, but why else would you not want to snuggle with me? Do you have some sort of problem with me or, or what? Oh, and when exactly was I supposed to ask for your permission? You were asleep, remember? <sighs> wow, are you being serious right now? <sighs> Sorry, buddy. This is just some perfectly platonic cuddling. I'm not doing anything weird to you. So, <laughs> don't get your hopes up, okay? You creep. Huh? Oh, cut it down. I have to put my hand somewhere. Yeah, okay, not there. So then, further up or further down? <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Further up. Here, is that better? <laughs> then stop making a fuss already. Oh, come on. I know perfectly well that you're actually enjoying this. <laughs> By the way, I know how you always stare at me. You've probably been fantasizing about cuddling with me since I first moved in with you. <laughs> Am I right? So don't give me that. I know you're always pretty defensive about getting touched, but I really need some snuggles right now. And you'd get some scritches and back rubs out of this. So shut up already and let me cuddle you, okay? What? No, I'm not sniffing your hair, you creep. I'm... Um, just making sure that you showered before I decide whether or not to cuddle you any further. I certainly don't like the smell of your hair. You smell alright, that it's fine, it's acceptable, that's all. So just shut up already and let me nuzzle into your hair. <sighs> Seriously now. Can you please cut it out? I was late for work, okay? And then... My boss was so mean to me, and... I worked two hours overtime, and... I still have a freaking truckload of work in my inbox that actually isn't even mine. It's just that... All of my coworkers are lazy people who play dumb whenever a problem pops up. The bakery was out of my fairy pastries, too, and my dinner was yesterday's casserole. Microwaved, of course. I had a really, really shitty day. I'm frustrated. I'm tired. And my feet are cold. 
I don't have the nerve anymore to deal with your complaints. I just... I just want to snuggle up to something warm and fall asleep. So can you please, please just stop complaining and just keep still? Oh, are you still going on? You should count yourself lucky. There's probably a ton of people out there who would be willing to do anything to be my little spoon. You're in a really privileged position right now, don't you know? <laughs> you don't get cuddles like this every day, so... Just stop complaining already. Well, of course you have to. You're my roommate. It's in the... The Statute of Roommateship. Right below the article that says you do not use the toiletries without asking. What? <laughs> yeah, of course I would. If you ever have a really shitty day, I hereby give you permission to come to my bed and snuggle up to me. Actually, your day doesn't even have to be all that bad. Maybe if you're just a little stressed out, you could just come over and snuggle. Or if you just kind of feel like cuddling, then you could... <laughs> no, I don't like you. Oh, huh? how did you get that idea, you creep? Again, it's just the two of us in this apartment, so... I, I simply have no other options, that's all. I've been running low on cuddles now since I don't know when. And uh, every now and then I... I simply need a hug or someone ruffling my hair or whatever. You know, to recharge my comfort batteries. Physical affection is... Really important for one's mental well-being, don't you know? So, with your rude refusal to let me cuddle you, you're actively sabotaging my mental health. Do you want me to be mentally unwell? Do you? No, I can't ask my friends. Are you crazy? I can just walk around asking people for hugs, okay? Because then everybody would immediately go, Oh, look at that cute, dainty, fragile little girl. She needs some hugs. Maybe we should also give her a teddy bear and security blanket. And we shouldn't let her do any of the difficult, important jobs. Lest we overstrain her wee girly brain. That's why I've decided to cuddle with you. Because... You're my only roommate, so... I don't need to worry about anyone walking in on us. Plus, you're such a wimp that you definitely won't tell anyone that I came to your bedroom to cuddle. So you're simply the obvious choice. You're convenient, like a microwave pizza. And... This has nothing to do with me liking you or anything, okay? Well, why did you ask, though? Do you... Uh, like me? Hey, don't change the subject now. After all, you started this. You know, if there's anything you wanted to confess to me, I wouldn't be at all against it. So, be brave for once and finally confess to me. <laughs> Don't go on me now. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Just confess to me already. How for essentially forever now, you've had the biggest crush on me and how you always fantasize about me and... How you always get jealous when I see you with other girls. Uh, I mean, when you see me with other girls. Uh, I mean, boys. 
But stop distracting me. Yeah, you are. You're distracting me by being warm and cuddly. <sighs> For real now, can you just shut up? I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep. Changing the subject? What do you mean? <laughs> so, do you want to keep talking about that? Because I don't mind. I will make the effort and stay awake for you. If you really want to confess to me that bad. <laughs> Come on then, I'm waiting. Staying away just for this, so you better make it quick. Hmm? Was I not right with everything that I said? Well, tell me what was wrong then. What did I say that was wrong if you think that I wasn't right? Hmm, you don't get jealous? Sure. <laughs> Not even when I go out and then I take people home. Sure, you don't see them much because they're gone by the morning, but you always know about it, right? Or I always make sure to tell you about it. You're my roommate and you're more than that. You're also my friend, so I always want to tell my friend what I'm up to and... Every news about my romantic life. If I got with a guy last night and he was awful. Or if he was great. I always tell you about it, right? That doesn't make you jealous at all. <laughs> You've never thought about being one of those guys? Just tell me the truth already. Mm -hmm. I know that you have. Or those other times when I go on dates with people that I met on dating apps. <laughs> yeah, you remember those times? It's been a while since my last time doing that, but... It's fun, it's pretty fun. You remember how I dress up all pretty and then I ask you how I look? <laughs> you always just look away and tell me that I look fine. <laughs> Why do you never want to look at me? I always... Use my prettiest clothes and do my makeup the best that I can. So that then I can ask you how I look and you get to look at me. Do you not think that I look pretty in those moments? <laughs> you do? You should tell me then. I always want to hear it from you. Even when I go on those dates, it's just a fun little game for me. <laughs> I like to meet new people and uh, make new friends, you know that about me already, but I'm never looking for anything serious in those people that I meet, because The person that I want something serious with, I already met a long time ago. What, what do I mean? Do you not remember the first time that we met? <laughs> yeah. It was the first day of uni and you were sitting at the back of the class and I was late, so... I had to sit next to you because every other seat was taken. And that's when I started chatting with you. And we became 
friends. <laughs> you're so cute, sitting back there all silent. I always thought that you were cute. That was a few years ago, though. And uh, our friendship has grown, and now we're closer. You're no longer the quiet kid at the back of the class. Right? And... Uh, I really enjoyed moving in with you, even if just us roommates for convenience, right? But if I'm honest with you, ever since that first day, I don't know, something happened inside of me. I felt something that I had never felt before and uh, no matter how many dates I went on or how many people I met that feeling never happened again do you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> Okay, well, to put it short, I had a massive crush on you, and uh, I've been trying to fight it, I've been trying to make it go away, I've made a ton of new friends, and most of them are wonderful, and I love all my friends, and even... Uh, the ones that I only met for one night. They were also great, but none of them were as good as you. And I never felt that feeling again. It's like something that only happens when I'm with you. And there's just no way to replicate it as much as I've tried believe me so I need to shut up already <laughs> I've been ranting for so long but uh, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> you like me too? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Don't worry. I noticed that a long time ago. And uh, <laughs> it was just so cute to me. So, does this mean that you want to be with me? Like, like date me? You do? <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Come here. Mm. I've been wanting to hug you this tightly for so long. I remember when you landed your job and I got to hug you this tight. It feels so good. So, am I allowed to cuddle you now? <laughs> now that I'm your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I want to be the big spoon. So, where should I put my hands now? <laughs> Am I allowed to put them wherever I want? Finally, okay. Come a bit closer to me, baby. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. Have you had a rough day? Mm. I know you have. I heard you crying earlier, but I didn't want to say anything. 
Are you feeling better now? Okay, that's good. You're just stressed. I know work is very stressful. But it's okay, I'm here now. Let me get a little closer. Don't worry, baby. I'll help you relax now. Where are my hands going? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just close your eyes and relax. <laughs> <laughs> 